September is Emergency Preparedness Month, and to make sure you are prepared for the unexpected, we spoke with the public health nurse Donna Carmichael to find out what you need to do to be ready. We don't know what we don't know, but there are things that we've learned over the years that we need to be prepared for. Whether it's a hurricane, blizzard, fire, or other natural disaster, residents need to be prepared for any emergency situation that may arise. Fortunately, the town of Needham is ready. We're lucky in this town that um, uh, emergency planning is done um, across the board. Uh, we have a, a local emergency planning committee that is uh, co-chaired by the fire chief and uh, the public health director. Um, we have all uh, community management, the uh, community team on, on board with uh, planning and working on, on emergencies. When a situation develops, the town's first step is to notify residents. Needham has a reverse 911 in town um, that you can sign up with the Needham Fire Department or you can also go on to the town website to um, input your information. In this day and age, there's a lot of people that don't have landlines, so you can put your cell phone number, you can put somebody else's cell phone number on there as well. Once the call comes in and the nature of the emergency is known, there may be little time to put things in motion, so planning in advance is advised. We want to individualize our plan to your own family. So when we're looking at a family um, plan, you want to um, make a list of where you would evacuate to. Carmichael suggests coordinating with neighbors and relatives to have both a local place within the neighborhood and one outside the neighborhood ready. Another important thing to prepare is an emergency kit. You need to have equipment available to you in case of an emergency. And this should be in a, in a place and in an area that's you know clean and dry, obviously, um, but also in a container that you can pick up and take with you if you need to. We're always talking about food and water and medicine and other supplies for a three-day period. In addition to food and water, other things to consider when preparing an emergency kit are batteries, flashlights, first aid kits, contact information for doctors, along with extra supplies and equipment for pets and family members with disabilities. Once the plan is in place and distributed to members of the family, Carmichael makes another suggestion that often gets overlooked. Another important thing that, that, that I always ask people to do is to watch out for their neighbors. So we're making kits and we're making plans for ourselves and our, and our families, but we all know, we all should know our neighbors or try to get to know our neighbors. So if we have to evacuate and your family is, eva is evacuating and you know there's an elderly person or a single person living by themselves in your neighborhood, you know, it's always good to know what the plan is for them as well. For more information on preparing for an emergency, visit the Massachusetts Emergency Management Agency website at www.mass.gov backslash MEMA. For the Needham Channel News, I'm Josh Eilberg.